Hi. Is back-end creation blocking your mobile app dev? Or strategic B2B internal integration? Imagine you could create a database back-end instantly. Working software now. Well, here's how with API Logic Server. Use this run command to create an API for the designated database instantly. Does this command build an API server? Yeah. And here it is, your working API with Swagger. Client app dev unblocked. So, what just happened? The run command created a Python project open here in PyCharm. It's a standard Python project. PyCharm creates the virtual environment for us. And now we install our requirements such as Flask and SQL Alchemy. Here are the automatically created model classes. These resulted from introspecting the database. Extend them to define hybrid attributes and add missing relationships. Here's what controls what endpoints are exposed. Extend it with new endpoints in this file. Let's restart the server by running this file. Your API is full featured with filtering and pagination. JSON APIs are interesting because they're client configurable. In this request, the fields argument specifies the attributes and includes specifies joins for related data. Configurable APIs reduce network traffic since clients can request exactly the right data in a single call. It also means client developers don't require the server team to create multiple endpoints. Your API also supports update. Here's a patch API to reduce a customer's credit limit. It fails just as it's supposed to. That's because the API enforces transaction logic. Multi-table derivations and constraints and actions like send mail or messages. Ever notice how a small cocktail napkin specification explodes into hundreds of lines of code? Here's our design for check credit. Five simple statements translate into 200 lines of code. That's about a week's work. Which brings us to declaring logic. Imagine that your cocktail napkin were executable. Is that even possible? Yeah, like this. You declare logic using Python with code completion. The logic engine hooks into SQL Alchemy events and automatically orders and executes your logic when transactions are committed. Multi-table transaction logic automation. These five rules, pretty much the spec, replace 200 lines of code, 40x. Backend logic, often nearly half the system, now reduced by 40x. So 40x, what does that really look like? A modern jetliner flies four times faster than the Spirit of St. Louis. To get to 40x, you need a scramjet. The logic engine operates a bit like a spreadsheet. It hooks into SQL Alchemy events, watches for changes in referenced data, reacts by recomputing the value, and chains to referencing data. This rule-based declarative logic is a big advance over legacy procedural code. Declarative makes reuse automatic, a big reason for the 40x. Declarative logic is active, automatically invoked, improving quality. Declarative logic execution is automatically ordered by dependencies, making maintenance dramatically simpler. Declarative provides automatic optimizations, increasing agility. 
Agile approaches depend on getting working software soon to drive collaboration and iteration. But UI development is slow. What if you could have working software now? In fact, the run command has already created a basic web app. It's multi-page with transitions to see related data, multi-table to see the orders for a customer, with automatic joins so you see the product name, not the product ID. Automation provides a fast start, but extensibility is required to deliver the project. You extend the API with new endpoints using Python. Here, finally, is Hello World. You can also implement multi-table business services, such as entering an order and its order details. Define an annotated method and specify your arguments. These show up in Swagger. Logic reuse makes the Python implementation trivial. Here, the logic we saw for changing a credit limit also applies to placing orders. This is visible in the log, where an order detail computes its amount, which chains to adjust the order's amount total, which adjusts the customer balance, which is checked against the credit limit. Extend rules with Python. Here, we define a Python event, a stub to send mail or a message. We can test it and see it in the log. You can control the fields and related views of the web app by editing this file. So let's review what we've seen. An API created instantly from the database to unlock UI development. Transaction logic using spreadsheet-like rules, 40 times more concise than code, extensible with Python, for remarkable business agility. A web app, multi-table, multi-page, created instantly from a database to engage business users early in the project. Maybe you've been looking at Python to leverage its power and simplicity for database-oriented systems. With this level of extensible automation, maybe the time is now. Thank you.